Hi guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to Busy Being Jenna. I'm here today to do another video about menopause. If you did not see my first video about this, um, I'm going to link it for you right here and also in the description box below this video. In that video, I'll just tell you briefly that I talked about my surprise when I got through menopause, meaning my period stopped, and then all of a sudden I had like a resurgence of symptoms and more symptoms than I ever experienced from going through menopause um, was so surprising. I thought something was really wrong with me. And so, uh, so anyway, if you want to talk about all the different possibilities of symptoms that you could have, uh, that is the video for you to check out. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is talk about some of the symptoms that I have been left with and what I'm doing to manage those symptoms. So when I say what I've been left with, I did make a choice to use hormone replacement therapy. And um, I just have a little patch that I use twice a week. That's a decision you have to make with your doctor based on your history and your symptoms and all that kind of stuff. And so I kind of thought that when I went on that, that I would just be done with any symptoms and woohoo, you know, all of them gone. And um, I actually have been left with a few, not terribly, terribly severe, but I thought maybe some of the things that I'm doing to manage those symptoms would help you, you know, whether you're just trying to do um, symptom management on your own or whether you're left with some symptoms too. So, okay, so the three things that uh, the symptoms that I have been left with, even after hormone replacement therapy have been hot flashes. Um, night sweats are actually just hot flashes that happen at night, and I don't typically have an issue with that. Um, I did um, a while back, but I don't now. Um, so anyway, but I do get an occasional hot flash, consistent enough that it bothers me and makes me think about doing stuff to manage that. Um, another thing is weight management. And then the last thing is vaginal dryness. Um, so I'm going to talk about a few things today that I have been doing that maybe could help you too. Okay, so let's start with hot flashes because it seems to be the most common symptom that people have. If you can get something cold on your neck as quickly as possible after a hot flash starts, or even if you just feel one kind of starting to come on, if you can just get something cold on your neck, you'll have a pretty good shot at getting it to stop in its tracks. So let's just say you're at a restaurant and all you have is your glass of ice water on your table and you just pick it up and stick it on your neck. You know, you might look a little weird doing that, but it's better than going into a full blown drenching sweat. Um, but anything, whether it's a can of soda, a cold bottle of water, your water bottle that you're carrying around, if it's cold, um, anything that's cold, if you're home, grab something frozen out of the freezer and just put it on your neck. But I have something and all the things I talk about today are listed and linked in the space below. Um, so this thing I've had for seven years. If this is designed for people who work out in warm climates or if you're working out in the summer, it's just a little thing that you tie around your neck like this. It's not a fashion statement, but who cares, right? Um, and you put this around your neck and there is an ice pack inside. It's a little strip of like little gel pack kind of things. And, um, and then the nice thing about this, even though it doesn't look great, is that you can just tie it on and then go do whatever you're doing. You don't have to sit there holding something on your neck. And if you get rid of the hot flash right away, you can just take it off, throw it back in the, in the freezer. So let me show you this. I'm going to tell you one bummer about the one I have. So um, there's a little Velcro end on this pocket and you pull this out and there's the little ice pack thing. So mine only came with one and the bummer about that is that if you are using it frequently, if you're having several hot flashes a day and then it doesn't have a chance to fully freeze in between times that you use it, then you know you got to figure out something else to do to manage your hot flashes. What I have linked for you in the space below is one that I found. Um, I, I couldn't find this brand anymore. This one's called Icy Cools, but there's one I've linked for you below that if I had it to do again, I would get that one. And that is, um, it has two ice packs. 
So you can keep one in this dealy thing and, and keep it in your freezer and then you have an extra. So if the one, you know, thaws out, you always have one that's fully frozen. So man, I've had this for seven years. I'm not getting rid of it because I still get an occasional hot flash. Probably, well, I'm going to tell you about another product I've been using that's been helping with that. But, but with this, when I was just doing this and nothing else, I was all summer long, I've been getting, I don't know, a hot flash almost every day, maybe five times a week or something. So enough that I needed something to manage it. However, there is something else that I've been using that has been helping with that. And I've been using this product for about a month now. This is a tea. Um, the company is Voom Via. I have a link for you in the space below. It's not an affiliate link. And um, this is called Menno Slim. This one helps with um, hot flashes and night sweats, and it also helps with weight management. So it's helping to kill two birds with one stone. But this product I have found helps to keep the hot flashes from coming on. And uh, so I'm going to talk about the hot flash part, and I'm going to talk about the weight management part on this. It is just a regular tea. It comes in little... As little tea bags, just the kind you just drop in a cup of hot water, just like regular tea. It's not a very strong flavor. This one is lemon lime. I also have one that's acai berry. And I keep one in my office and one package at home. And so so here's here's what was going on. So about a month ago is when I when I first started trying this. And um actually I noticed fairly soon, you know, like after the first week that, wow, I haven't had a hot flash this whole week. And then I kept using it and I wasn't having any hot flashes. So I thought, okay, this is great. Um, I really got it because of the slim part, but, uh, but the hot flash part was really good too. And then I, I got really busy. I, I headed back to work to teach at the university. I was really, really busy getting everything ready and I forgot to drink these. You just drink one a day. And I, I was forgetting about it. And next thing you know, about three days later, boom, I have a hot flash. And it was so like they had been gone so consistently that it was truly surprising to me when all of a sudden I felt this hot flash coming on. And I went, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot to drink the tea. Um, so I started, obviously started drinking it again. And I put one in my office. I keep one in package in my office and one at home. So wherever I happen to be, when I remember to, to take this, I have it with me. And so that has been really good. So they have other teas. Um, I'll tell you about, but let me, let me give you more information about this one. Um, this Menno Slim is the only kind of tea I've tried from this company. So the different, it's all natural. It has all herbal stuff. So it's got ginkgo leaf for energy and mood enhancement. It's got dandelion leaf that helps with uh, bloating, helps reduce bloating. Uh, Ruibos, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, R-O-O-I-B-O-S. Um, it helps burn body fat, licorice root, and let me, I'll comment on the licorice because some people really hate licorice. So um, licorice root helps reduce hot flashes and night sweats. Black cohash root um, helps decrease hot flashes and enhance mood. Cardamom seed pods promote metabolism and help to burn body fat. And matcha green tea leaf helps stop the body from storing excess fat. So uh, obviously a lot of things for mood for hot flashes, and then things for weight, including bloating. And so the thing I wanted to comment about the licorice root, when I first tried this, I didn't look at the ingredients. And when I was finished with my first cup of tea, it was very mild, super, super, super mild tea. Um, so it's not like one of those things that you're drinking for the flavor because it's it doesn't have a, a lot, it doesn't have a very strong um, flavor. Uh, but when I was finished, I tasted a little aftertaste of licorice and I have an intense dislike for, for licorice. Um, and actually it just wasn't very strong. So, um, you, you'll probably taste it a little, but if the 
trade-off is that you don't get hot flashes and night sweats anymore um, just for having a little flavor of licorice in your in your tea then um, for me it was worth it okay so I did check on the Vimvaya website and they have several different versions of their tea one of them is for if you're having trouble sleeping um, I'm, I didn't look at the ingredients so I don't know what's in there but same kind of thing you just have one of these a day it helps with that um, one of them is for hair like if you've been, I didn't look into that um, very deeply, but it was saying something like, um, if, just if you're having problems with your hair, like if it's dry um, as, a, as a result of menopause, if it's thinning, um, you know, whatever, you can, you can check it out on their website. And then the other one that I saw was for, um, oh, I think it just said menopause support. It was just like a multitude of, of symptoms that you may be experiencing from menopause and if you are just having a lot like I was before I started HRT but you don't want to go that route then that might be the one to help you because it's supposed to manage um, multiple symptoms okay as far as the weight loss goes on this so I've been using this for about a month I'm not trying to lose weight and um, I you know wasn't really noticing anything with that but just this morning, this was so weird that this happened on the same day I was going to film this. Just this morning, I got up and I weighed myself and I lost two pounds over the past month. And I said to my husband, it's so weird that I, I've dropped a couple of pounds. Like, I don't know why. And then as I was getting ready to do this video, it occurred to me, oh, oh, maybe this is working. So I don't know, but, um, you know, my hot flashes stopped, came back when I stopped using it and I've lost a couple pounds. So maybe it is doing something good. Um, anyway, like I said, that link is in the space below. They have some other products too. I didn't look into very, um, closely like gummies and things like that. All stuff that helps women who are going through, uh, menopause. Okay, the last thing is um, for vaginal dryness. Man, if you have this going on, you know how miserable it can be. Some women get it so intensely that you don't even have to be ha doing anything down there, right? You don't have to be having sex to experience discomfort. Um, I don't have it to that degree, but I have throughout this whole process of menopause um, have had painful sex and even like little drop of blood, um, you know, just from friction. It feels like my husband's wearing a sandpaper condom, you know, sorry if that's TMI, but, um, anyway, if, if you're going through this, you know, so, um, so what happens as we get older and go through menopause is the skin in that area gets thin and dry. It does, it doesn't have the moisturizer, moisture, whatever. It just can't moisturize itself the way it did. Um, no matter how much foreplay you got going on, it just doesn't do what it used to do in that area. And so what I have found to be such a great help is this estradiol vaginal cream. Um, let me just preface this by saying if you're choosing to not use um, hormones to help you through menopause because you have a family history of breast cancer or whatever reason, um, still talk to your doctor about this because my understanding is that when you put estrogen in that area, that it doesn't go systematically throughout your body. It's sort of like Vegas, you know, like what happens down there stays down there. And so, um, so, so you could still, this might still be an option for you, but I don't, you need to check with your doctor. So estradiol cream, um, I don't have a link to it in the space below. I've, I've listed it below, but it's a prescription. You know, you need to have a prescription from your doctor if you live in the United States anyway. And so, um, you know, you'll need to get it from where you normally get your prescriptions. But um, mine is a 0.01%. What you do with this is you put a half, a, I think it's a half a gram in a little syringe that comes with this. You stick that up there and squirt it in and you do that two days a week. Um, what it does, it's not going to immediately solve your problem. It takes some time to help your body to shed that old, thin, dry skin 
And then as the skin cells rejuvenate, you get skin cells that were like what you had when you were in your 20s and 30s. And so, um, so it's going to take a while, you know, it's going to take a, a month anyway before that painful friction from sex um, goes away. But then all of a sudden you're going to notice, wow, I didn't have any pain. And, um, and then here's the temptation because things are starting to feel like normal again. You forget to take this. I have done this a couple of times. I've forgotten to use it. And guess what? That old dry skin comes back again. So this is one of those things that you have to keep using um, for as long as you don't want to be feeling that way down there. You have to keep using it. But this is a game changer. It is a total game changer. So, um, so talk to your doctor about it. It's not... I don't even... I'm trying to think if I even get charged by my insurance company for this. I don't think it's very expensive, but it, I guess it depends on what kind of insurance you have. So, okay. So those are the three things. So just to kind of recap, remember for hot flashes, get something cold on your neck as soon as possible. If you grab one of these things and you have, you know, maybe you keep it wherever, wherever it is that you tend to come up with these hot flashes. If there's a freezer at work or if you just keep it at home um, and you can grab it anytime you want um, and put it on such, um, such a big help um, for hot flashes and for weight management. Um, Menno Slim by Vumbaya and, or if you have any other things, you just go check it out. They, they um, have things for a lot of different symptoms of menopause and then for vaginal dryness, estradiol cream. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. And I hope I'll see you again on Busy Being Jen. If you're not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button. And I hope I'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.